So, what can I get for you, okay? Seriously. You name it, it's yours. Outside of the memory foam, I think I'm good to go. <laughs> a mad woman held you hostage and you wound up getting shot. Uh, I've been shot before. <laughs> oh, so you're used to it. It's just a scratch. Sure, yeah, no, no, it's 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 nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, you've been married to me, right? Survived that, and it's a little bullet wound. You said it, not me. Okay, obviously, you want me to think that you're okay, and, and that you may be, but... I know you better than I know anybody, and I know when something's not right. It's Nicholas, isn't it? So when the nurse said that two visitors was one too many, were you hoping that it was going to be me that would leave and Nicholas had stayed? I mean, when I did walk in here, the two of you did look pretty cozy. Oh, did we? Yeah. Mm. As a matter of fact, I got the distinct impression that I might have walked in on a... a moment. Mm. Well, you're right, we were having a moment. Mm. But it wasn't about Nicholas and me. It was about Nicholas and his fiance. So you were talking to Nicholas about Brett? No, no wonder you asked him to leave. So, what possessed you? If I never hear that woman's name again, it'll be too soon. But Nicholas is my friend, and I know that Brett's going to be a part of his life for however long it takes him to shake her. Hmm. Do you think Nicholas is going to be able to do that? He says he doesn't love her anymore. But? But right now, I don't think Nicholas knows up from down. It'll be a while before he's over her. If he ever is. What? Elizabeth, the moment that I heard that you had been shot, my heart fell through the floor. I mean, I went into this blind panic because I couldn't bear the thought of you being hurt, or more selfishly, the thought that you would be taken away from me, that I would lose you. Fortunately, I'm gonna be just fine. I think I'll stick around for a while. Yeah, and I thank God for that, because I don't know what I would do without you. You've done without me before. Do you have any idea how much you mean to me? How committed I am to having you back in my life for, for good? Look, I'm not giving up, okay? Whether you like it or not, I'm, I'm going to prove my worth to you. And by the time I am done, miss, you're going to wonder why you made such a fuss over Nicholas Cassidyne. Well, think about this, Elizabeth. You know, if you had let me stay over the other night, then you wouldn't have been alone when that crazy woman showed up at your front door with a gun. Yeah, you know, she wouldn't have just shot you. You wouldn't have been able to answer the door because you would have been too preoccupied and she couldn't get in. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. wow, that's not a scenario that occurred to me. <laughs> well, come on, think about it. I mean, a night with me, Elizabeth, you get romance and breakfast in bed. A night with Nicholas, you get a tour of the Cassidyne Mausoleum and you wind up with a bullet wound. It's a gimme. So tell me, Sonny. Thank you for keeping me company. I get used to it. You'll see a lot more of me in the future.